I'll start with the uh, thin spring roll, please. Good choice. Thank you. Can I go for the salmon as well, please, darling? For main course, I'll have a shepherd's pie, please, I think. OK. Thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. <coughs> I, I want to see you and Ramsay uh, chug. Chug. Yeah, yeah. Oh, smoke. Tuck them in the bed. Good night, chef. Good night. <laughs> I'm a very confident person, and I've been in the kitchen for a long time. I'm almost positive we'll get a good review. When you get a family business right, it goes on for generations. And here, it doesn't feel like a family-run business at all. Pubs are full of atmosphere, fun. It's got tweed neck curtains, like you're going to visit your granny. Weird. Here you are, spring rolls with Coleman's mustard. Wow. Very strange, bizarre looking spring roll. Are they popular on the menu? Um, people really like them. No doubt half the customers are drunk. This is the tough half hour of my life. Not a big hit. You like it? No. Brian's in the kitchen, like wondering. I'm just like, nope. Are you kidding me? He really thought that. I was going to walk back there and be like, he loved it. You know, he, he wants you to come work for him. Come on. Let me try that one. Let me get you some clean silverware. Thank you. Go on. And what's this stuff with, please, uh, Melissa? On top is a balsamic reduction. He likes to use that a lot. He likes that, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. He On everything, he puts a little drizzle on. A little? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Always the sign of a very insecure chef when he macerates everything in pulse with vinegar. Look at this. Ah, horrible. Doesn't taste of salmon at all. Off through? Does my shepherd's pie have any balsamic with vinegar? No. Good. Lovely. I don't even think he likes the water. He said, um, will my shepherd's pie have any balsamic vinegar on it? I said, I can assure you it will not. Do I? Do I dare? I don't like to come off conceited or cocky. I'm very good at what I do. I know the back of the house very well. I've done everything that's out there. Let's try that one. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. It's just a big ball of grease. Just very, very greasy. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> That's disgusting. Tony? Second door on the left. Oh. <coughs> oh, no. My God, something made it made him sick. I don't know if he went in the bathroom and threw up. But he ran in, he ran into the bed. <laughs> this is pork chop, the smothered pork chop. Thank you. Looks like someone shot on my plate. It's just dry. That's bland. Nothing seasoned there. How's your pork chop? Yeah, the pork chop is dry. The mac and cheese is way overcooked and very mushy. You'd think a soul food restaurant would pride itself on cooking mac and cheese, but no, it's just all... Is that heated in the microwave, though? No, I think they just put it in the, in the oven to warm for our lunch service. Thank you. What's wrong? He's saying that the macaroni and cheese is dry and overcooked. Ooh. He asked me, have we warmed it in the microwave? I told him, no, it just came out of the oven. They may have put it in the microwave okay. for a minute. Only for a minute, though. Everything is cooked to perfection. There is nothing on that menu that is not perfect. OK, here we go. I'm taking over now. Five collard greens. Move it to the middle. Put an orange chip in the middle. That's it. How can you actually say this is a show for restaurant? Or the collard greens are not tasting like collard greens since it's just like pepper soil. You know, you can't have food tasting like that. Tell Chef I said to taste those collard greens. They're perfect. Here you go, Chef. Collard greens. Wow. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you very much indeed. Wow. 
bland, no seasoning, it's just fried and soggy and limp. Uh, James, what do you think? You gotta eat it all together. If you eat it all together, mm -hmm. it should... Well, I did eat it all together, it still stayed bland. Thank you. Yeah. My God. What is he saying about our stuff now? A little bland. Oh my God. Collard greens, it's great. He's crazy. Where's the chitlins at? It's in a microwave. They're delicious. If we get one out of three, we might be all right. And this is the chitlins and okra. Okay, chitlets. I mean, I know chitlets are the intestine, but should they really stink? Before I do taste them, I'd like to have pray to God before I put any of that in my mouth. <laughs> In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, you are blessed. <laughs> we rebuke the spirit of the devil. Yeah. You are prayed over. We guarantee you that you are not about to succumb to those chitlins. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I just had to pray over Chef before he ate the chitlins. What the fuck? There's no prayers going to save me on this one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Chitlets. Shitlets. I need the toilet, excuse me. I knew they'd come out quicker than they went in. Chef Ramsey is a mess. Oh, it's chitlets and gross. He's looking at that after throwing up. Throwing up? Holy crap. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, they stink. Oh. <laughs> Shall it be taken it lightly and not seriously at all? Is it in the children's bathroom? I'm not sure, but I guess the prayer didn't work. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. You're not used to that soul food, huh? <laughs> Zucchini. Let's fucking do this. Jake likes to just get in and get out fast. He knows better, and I know better, than to use a microwave and try to go to Ramsey. Right now, Jake is very lazy. It's pretty messed up. The bears seen you. The zucchini is delightful. They're screwed. What is that? So on stuffed zucchini. Stuffed zucchini. Yeah. Well, look at that. It's like two grenades about to explode. My God. Now it looks like something out of an alien movie. When zucchinis attack. Oh. Wow. That's badly seen. Bland. No go? No. Oh, that's disgusting. I could cry. What a joke. Wow. Sorry about that. What are they saying? Stuff zucchini was horrible. Oh, fuck it. We're good. Look good. Hated it. Why? Try this. If you did, if you hate it. It's soup. Dorm. That's good. We are screwed. Jake's ability at this moment is zero. He doesn't care anymore. Lamb shank? It's coming, man. I'm doomed. Completely. Lamb shank? Now there's a very anemic looking lamb shank. Look at the presentation. It's depressing. Almost like it's uh, been in the microwave for an hour. I'm sure that they wouldn't microwave a lamb shank. I'm a little bit nervous to have grey the meat is. That is way too salty and, and badly balanced. Dustin? I mean, so salty. Who cooked that, uh, Dustin? That's Chef Mike. Chef who? Chef Mike. It's a microwave. I thought there was a third chef. <laughs> he kind of is. He does oh, a lot we... of work in the kitchen. Uh, we use Chef Mike a lot. Whenever there's lights on in this restaurant, Chef Mike's working. He's a dedicated employee. He uh, asked about Chef Mike. He said he asked who cooked it. I mean, I can't lie to him. So I told him. He's not happy. Holy fuck, dude. I can't take this bullshit. Hello. Hi. I am Kiki. Kiki? Yeah. How are you? Thank nice you. to see you. Nothing is good. May I finish my lunch first okay, and then have I'm a sorry, chat? No English. No English? No. Okay, I'm sorry. Scottish? No. French? No. 
Spanish? Uh, German? Uh, German, a little oh. bit. Okay. I don't speak German, <laughs> but it's good to know. Thank you, thank you. This is the one I'm gonna serve? You're gonna serve it to me, go. God, it's so embarrassing. I don't care, man, at this point. I don't give a fuck about anything. Else. Moussaka. Now you think of Greece, you think of authenticity. That is not authentic. It's a non-moving moussaka. What a disaster. He went like this, stayed on there. Hey, Jacobs, I don't care. If you saw this food in a dog food bowl, you would not think twice. Moussaka? What was that made? When was that made? Yeah. I'm not sure, uh, you don't like it, the eggplant or no. anything? And did Chef Mike have a hand in this one? Chef Mike has a hand in a lot of dishes. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Jesus. How'd you like to try anything else? No. <laughs> gotcha. It's just too painful. It's not possible for a restaurant to be so bad.